In this video, I'm going to show you in Windows 10 how to get file extensions to show. Now, what's a file extension? Well, let me tell you. Um, if you open up Windows Explorer, and then you go to, say, any given folder, and for me, I store my stuff on my Google Drive, um, and let's say I'm going to come down to Shortcuts A Lot folder, and I've got these Shortcuts A Lot 4 and 5 files. Now, if I'm in uh, this particular view, I can see, which is detail, by the way, this is by going to view details. I can see by looking over in the type column, I can see it says shortcuts a lot four, shortcuts a lot five, you know, whatever. And that means that it's a SCUT file. All right. So just kind of bear with me right now. But I don't see it, you know, listed over here. I can't see it with the name. And then if I go to a different view, let's say I'm looking at extra large icons because I want to see what, uh, you know, I just, well, in this particular file type you don't see the actual thumbnails but basically here I'd have to know that this means that this one here means your cuts a lot five and this one means your cuts a lot four or vice versa see I can't even remember which is which so which is kind of my point point. Um, and then let's say you're looking at SVG files um, again, it's like one of those things that, you know, if you come down here, if you're in details mode, you can see that it says SVG document over here, but you don't see anything over here that indicates necessarily um, that it's an SVG file, at least not something that's immediately recognizable. And then same thing for, you know, if you're over here at extra large icons or something and you come down to these, all you see typically, at, you know, well, it depends. I do have an SVG um, uh, identifier associated with mine, but I won't see that it's a .SVG file unless it's already part of the file name, like see right here, I see it. But there's a way to change that. And you know what? And changing that can really, really improve your life because then you'll know whether you see a file format that you can import into shortcuts a lot or you see a file format that you should use file open or whatever. So this is so easy. Go under view and then come over here to options. Click on this icon and pick the top choice called change folder and search options. Select that. And then this window will open. Then you click on the View tab, right? Then scroll down just a little ways. You scroll down a little ways, and you're going to see a, an option here called Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Now, by default, Windows has that marked, which is makes no sense to me because, like I said, it just it leads to so many questions like this all the time of people not being able to figure out what kind of file type they're trying to open or import. So if you uncheck that, click on Apply, click on OK. Now then every time you're like in a mode here where you're looking at a file, you're going to see like .svg, .svg, .svg. Or if you're over looking at SCAL files, now then you're going to see .scut4, .scut5 or whatever. If SCUT4 means that it was designed in shortcuts a lot 4, SCUT5 means it was designed in shortcuts a lot 5. Dot scut three. Here's one dot scut three that was designed in shortcuts a lot three. This one down here shortcuts a lot two. So that uh, and you know and sometimes it matters. Like right now, if you're on version five, you can open any of the old ones. If you're on version four, then you can open any of the old ones and version five. But again, just handy to know these things. So now then, I'm going to come open up shortcuts a lot. Okay, I'm going to click on new project. All right, now then when I go to import something, I click on import um, and I go to a particular, you know, file like this. Now see up here, I see all my different folders under Foil Quill. And then down here, I can see which ones are SVG or which ones are PDF or whatever, because I don't have to scroll over and find it or I don't have to worry about what view I'm in. It's always going to show me the file type. So I want to import an SVG file of some sort, right? So then, like this one right here is the one I used for another video, this doily AM. I can click on it, click on import, and now then I have the file imported, you know, into shortcuts a lot. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know.